Everybody wants to get on the Van Gogh boat. There's no trip so horrible that someone won't take it. The idea of the unrecognized genius slaving away in a garret is a deliciously foolish one. We must credit the life of Vincent Van Gogh for really sending this myth into orbit. I mean, how many pictures did he sell? One? He couldn't give them away. He has to be the most modern artist, but everybody hated him. We're so ashamed of his life that the rest of art history will be retribution for Van Gogh's neglect. No one wants to be part of a generation that ignores another Van Gogh. In this town, one is at the mercy of the recognition factor. One's public appearance is absolute. Part of the artist's job is to get the work where I will see it. I consider myself a metaphor of the public. I am a public eye a witness, a critic. When you first see a new picture, you don't want to miss the boat. You have to be very careful. You might be staring at Van Gogh's ear. Mr. Rockefeller in a lovely brief, we say, pour plaisir. We don't serve that here. Fine, Gina. Cheeseburger and a coffee. That's Renee. Works for art for him. It's a fucking rainbow. You 
guys know what you want? Pancakes. Pancakes? You want anything? I'll have some coffee. Coffee? You want some coffee? No? Okay. Oh, you can't have that in here. What? You can't have that in here. Where? Who, her? Hide it. No. That's entertainment. Pancake table drawing. You know, I'm a little busy right now, Benny. Good night. What do you think? What? What do, what do you think? It's pretty good. It's me. All right, <laughs> making a mess here. Look at you. Get out. OK, goodbye. Well, it's pancakes. Lack, but would you let him order? Let him order? You nuts? Oh. Lack. I need this. Do I? Jesus Christ, here. I'm sorry. What's your name? Gina. I'm gonna get married. You like it here? It's okay. Hey, 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 Gina. Can I walk you home? Sure. I'm in a band. Playing at the Mug Club Thursday. I put you down on the list. I hate the Mug Club. You've been camping out? Because you <laughs> look like you could use a scrub. No, I'm clean. Yeah? Yes, yeah, smell me. I always smell good. I just, I just, I don't know why. I just do. I'll take your word for that. Just come Thursday. Nah. Too many party girls. Party girls? Uh, I wouldn't know about this. <laughs> Can I call you? Um, sure. I made, I, made, I made this for you. Thanks. You know that Frankie thing? You know that Frankie thing? We edited it. Looks pretty good. It's really good. I'm thinking about putting that um, drum mode on it and make it into like a nice video. You know, like a music video. Press play on the box right there. Press play on the box. Press play on the box.
What? You don't like it with the music? I, I like it like this. It's boring like this, man. It's it's like looking at a painting. You need the music, man. You need you need you need sound. The man just hit me and I was on the ground. I was on the ground. <laughs> Boom, for real. What did she say? For real. Your dad called. He wants to meet you for lunch or Hello? Is, is this Suicide Hotline? Yes. My name is Joe. What's yours? Jean-Michel. Jean-Michel. What's that, French? Haitian. I'm gonna... I'm gonna blow my brains out. Wait a minute. Talk to me. No, I'm gonna take these pills. What kind of pills? Reds, blues, greens, whole fucking rainbow. The trustees are harassing me. Are you in prison? No. The city's killing me. Tell me about it. You're talking to the right guy. How's it killing you? Boyfriend left. I've been there. Do you love him? Not especially. I'm alone. We all are here. Respect fools get. Disrespect I get. I have respect for you just for making this call. This is not an easy call to make. You won't be so arrogant. The police arrive. You okay? What's that noise? It's my mother. <laughs> French? Haitian rainbow. Killing me. Haitian French. Trustees. Talk to me. Red spruce. You okay? No special. Red spruce. Green spruce. French? Tell me about it. What's that noise? Prison? Respect. Tell me about it. What kind of American pills? You okay? Not special. Prison? Been there. Yes. French prison? Been there. French? Been there. Pull the brains out. Tell me about it. You said you hated this place. I do. I've never been in before, it's cool. Let's get out of here.
brings this sensation on oh, no. all it's just a need are you Jean? Give me a Phillips head, will you? A, a which? A uh, Phillips head screwdriver in the toolbox. Sure, sure. For the immigration ductile particles to Australia. I like it. Phillips head, right? Yeah. You don't have any. You got one in your hand. This is a regular screwdriver. That's a Phillips head, the cross thing. I'll show you later what all the tools are saying. Hi, Renee. Let me see it. Listen, can I make a call? Do you mind? No, go ahead. It's, it's to Paris. It's Bernard. You know Bernard Picasso. Yeah? OK. OK. You say hi to him for him? I will say hi to him for you, sweetheart. OK. Thanks. I'm happy with this year. Uh -oh. You'll get there. You'll get there. It's good to have something to fall back on. That's why I became an electrician. Pays the rent. You know, I'm an artist, too. Oh, cool. I didn't know. Oh, sure. I sculpt. I'm just really finding myself now. What are you, 20? You're just like I was. <laughs> I'm going to be 40 in July, and you know, man, I'm glad I never got any recognition. It's given me time to develop. Can we lose some of the shit? Yes. You know, oh, no, no, I no. Can't, you don't do it. I can't see this. Excuse me, you? What's your name? Could you come over here and move some of this stuff, please? My name's Jean Michel Basquiat. Have you heard of me? No, should I have? Yeah, I'm, I'm a painter too. Really? Too bad. <laughs> you know, I get it. Whoever you are, could you please move that stuff someplace else? We can't see the painting. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> man, look at that cigarette. Huh? Anyway, man, I didn't think we were actually going to do this. 
My goodness, he's shattering all my myths, man. How about what? Play some D. About you being the first half Rickon to play for the Knicks. Come on. Play some D. Yeah, I'm open. Open them I'm up. open. Okay, here you go. Hey, Benny, man. How long do you think it takes to get famous? For a musician? Hmm. Or a painter? Whatever. Famous. Four years? Six to get rich? First, you're gonna have to dress right, you know? Then you're gonna have to hang out with famous people, you know? Make friends with the right blonde people. Go to the right parties, yeah? Social life. Then, you gotta do your work all the time when you're not doing that. But I'm talking about the same kind of work, the same style, so people can recognize it and don't get confused, you know? Then, once you're famous, airborne, you know? You gotta keep doing it in the same way. Even after it's boring, unless you want people to really get mad at you, which they will anyway. Come on, man, let's go. Shoot. Come on. I mean, famous people are usually pretty fucking stupid. You're too smart. But you don't, you don't want to, like, end up like John Henry, you know, fighting John the machine. Henry. Absolutely. John Henry was a steel-driving man that worked the railroad. Pounding in the spikes and laying down the track. Then one day, they invented a machine to do his job, right? And he says, he says, fuck that. I'm a man, right? So he challenges the machine to a race to lay down a mile of track, right? It takes two days. They go neck and neck the whole time. I mean, right to the end, and he beat the machine by one spike. But he dropped dead, you know? See? Boom, boom, but he beat it. Boom, but he dropped dead, but he beat it. No, see, you just got to do your stuff like you do it, man. It's about integrity, you know? I mean, you, your friends like you. I mean, you pound the pussy. What else do you want? I mean, everyone walks by and sees your Whoa. stuff here, though. Right. Warhol. That's okay, Andy Warhol. Hmm? He's a fucking homo. Bro. He's a good fan in the world. No, he paints by numbers. You don't. What are you doing? You give him one of these, man. No, he should have one. Don't give him anything, man. Trade. Trade. Yeah. That's what real artists do with each other. Besides, he'll just use you, man. He's famous for it. It's not like that before I finish painting the truck. Can I help you? You want to buy some ignorant art? Ten bucks a piece? No, I, I think it's okay. Of course, yeah. Mr. Bishop. Gee, ignorant art, Bruno. Yeah, you know, like, stupid, like, ridiculous, crummy art. Wow, that sounds good. That's new. Ten bucks. Oh, gee, it didn't work very much on these. I can give you, like, five. Come on, Bruno, you're rich. Maybe you should talk to Bruno. You, you don't even work on your stuff. You know, it's not how much you work on something that matters, it's how much you get for them. I can get ten. These are great, Bruno. Maybe I'll take two. I'll take, um, let me see these. I'll take this one and, oh, I don't know. Bruno, can I borrow some money? Yeah. Here, you have the change? You made a good deal. You can have those too. Oh, let me look at those, Bruno. Yeah, but they're mine now, Andy. Huh? Sure, they're yours, Bruno. Everything good's yours.
which island in Hawaii you want our house to be on? Maui, Kauai, Oahu? I know, I hadn't thought about it. Maui. Just Staten Island would be fine. Maybe Oahu. Kind of impersonal. This. Oh, great. They're, you're more complex than that, you know. That's really nice. Well, That's really nice. Something. How do you like it? How do you like it? My paint all over your goddamn painting. How do you feel about that? Do you like that? Do you like me doing that to your fucking painting? Do you? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, Gina. Gina. Get off me. Fucking get off me. Come here. Listen. Listen. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Who? Listen. Get off. Okay. He's jealous of the sun because it warms you. He says, I feel you. Even though I'm not feeling you, I talk to you, I'm not talking to you. I love you. But I'm not loving you. Leave your stepping stones behind. No, I love There's you. something that calls for you. Come, come on up, man. First seven times. I'm just saying we got some rehearsal space tonight. It can happen Friday night, right? We got some people coming to see us. Yeah, and then some people always come to see us. Hey, Rockets. Hey, man. Yeah, 
Hey, hey Rogers, can I have this? Yeah. You got the key? Yeah. Hang on a sec. Hey, this man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give that to uh, Maripol. She let me stay here for a while. You do one for me, and it's free. Hey, look, man. Check quick, look, check him out. Go right there, look. He's kind of cute, right? <laughs> <laughs> the little silver thing is on his cowboy boots. No, honey, I don't think so. I gotta take a pee. Amazing. <laughs> Who did this? What the fuck should I know? That's Sarah, man, the dude that was just here. Yo, Benny, what? Right there. Look. Yeah, right there. Right there. Keep your eyes up. Don't lose them. What's your painting up there, back of that lawn? Yeah. Oh, at the party of airports, yeah. You, you, you like it? You know Albert Milo. Of course. I made that nigga. Renee Ricard, if you didn't read not about Albert Milo. Listen, I know who to hide. I will make you a star. You can put me in the ring with Milo? I can put you in the ring with him. I can set the date. But the big boys know how to fight. Make you look real sissy. God, I saw that painting. Made me ashamed to own anything. So, Samo. 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 You got a real name? Jean Michel Basquiat. Well, that sounds famous already. You want some coffee? Hey, who, who are those fools with the binoculars? Child, you got no respect at all. Nobody taught you how to mount paintings? You know me, it comes to a mounting. The rougher, the better. It's a very important season in New York, John. One's public appearance is absolute. <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise! Come here, doll. Sorry. This is Jean-Michel Basquiat, Henry. Hi, this and is my friend Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi Jean Michel. So, you're, uh, Samo. Samo, darling. I really like your graffiti. I was a kid then. How much for that one? That one? You were the museum. It's for me. Two. I'll take it. Darn right, you take it. Come on, Rob. Bye, nice meeting you. That's $2,000. $2,000, and he's from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So suck my pussy, you star. Come on. Yeah, you look fucking beautiful. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Easy. 
Anita's having been. Come here, I want you to meet somebody. John. John, this is Anita. Anita, this is John Michelle Basquiat. Ah, I'm so happy to meet you because Renee refused to give me your telephone number. Find his keepers, dog. My next show is called Public Address, but you don't fit. What do you mean, I don't fit? I fit? I can't show you in a gallery because you don't have any paintings. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Well, um, give me some money, I'll make you some. Would 300 do? Yeah, sure, but uh, I don't have a space. Uh -huh. I could find a place for you to work. Do you, you want a taste? <laughs> no, thanks. John, you're doing very well. Very well. Who is that? Okay. You are so full of shit, you. How do you know Bruno Bishopsburg? I had lunch with him once. Oh. Did we? Hmm. Kind of a family portrait. Looks done. You think so? Mm hmm. I think you some babies. Babies with you? What's wrong with me? Oh, you're your own baby. Who is it? Anina no say. Who? Anina. Hello. Oh. Let's see. Is Jean Michel here? No. Hi. I'm here to see some work. There's some right there. Oh. These are great, aren't they? I like these. I'll take these. I think you should probably talk to him about that. Uh, do Rene and Jean have a contract together? Uh, I think he's ready for a show. Really, when? Next month. You know, I think you should probably talk to him about all this. When? How about right now? Well, I'll, I'll go get ready. I'll, I'll be ready in one minute. This is it. Savings Bonds and the Mutual Network present Bands for Bonds. In the background, we have the choicest collection of modern musicians gathered together by Barry Ulanoff, editor of Metronome Magazine, Dizzy Gillespie, trumpet, Charlie Parker, alto sax, John LaPorta, clarinet, Billy Bauer, guitar. Lenny Tristano. Lenny Tristano, piano. That was Max Roach at the drum. And Ray Brown on the bass. bass.
I really love this. I should have known. Never tell a painter you like anything. They'll invariably change it. Hello? Yeah, but he's not here right now. Hang on a sec. It's Benny. He wants to know why you're not at band practice. Fuck. I forgot about that. Are you Tony Bennett? Huh? Are you Tony Bennett? You sing on stage, you paint in your spare time, is that right? I don't know Tony Bennett painted. That's my point exactly. Hello? Hello? I mean, if, if you're so smart, what are you doing down in this basement with me? You are the news, and I want the scoop. Look, when I speak, no one believes me. When I write it down, people know it's true. There's never been a black painter in art history who's been considered really important, you know that? Are you a writer or a white writer? I may be white, but I'm a nigger. You ask anybody. What time is it? It's 5.11. for you. Hey, it's the big AM. Hey. Renai's been telling me about your work. Is that finished yet? Um, I don't know. When's your show? Two weeks. Yeah, yeah, how was yours? I ain't decided yet. This is nice, I like that. Hey, baby. Hey, come on over. I want to make a painting of you. You got any coffee? Yeah, I got uh, coffee, cream cheese, bagel. Thanks for letting me stop by. Yeah, I could use a little bit more pink. Kruger. I heard. This is Jean-Michel Basquiat. Hi. You've seen the same graffiti everywhere. That's his. This is the true voice of the gutter. I've seen the graffiti and I've heard wonderful things about your paintings. Everybody's talking about you. Your ears must be burning. Most of these are reserved already. After Thursday, this work will not be available. It's a beautiful painting and it's still free. I don't know. I don't know if I could live with this one. It's... I like it, but the green is sort of institutional. Sweetheart, have you been in an institution lately? Oh, Jean-Claude Kiwi. There's my motherfucker. What's up? Huh? All right. What's up, man? Cool, man. Yo, you's a lucky-ass nigga to be getting paid for this shit. Do you like it, man? Not bad. Yeah, I do. It's, some beer, man. it's fascinating, his choice of crossing out words that way. <laughs> Yes, well, they are more meaningful in their absence, no? Yeah, J.M., what does it mean? I don't know. I just don't know if I can live with the green. You want me to make it a nice ship brown? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Nobody makes fun of my wife but me. I don't know. I just can't make up my mind. I really like this one, but it's just... It's the green. Get a fucking decorator. These paintings aren't even done yet. We'll take the green one. Oh, how can I thank you? Maybe I can squeeze your titty. Oh, 
Mac? No. Want a Mac? Scarf. I don't want a Mac. No, I don't want a Mac. Give me my scarf. Sweetheart, I dare you to break my arm. Oh, man. I dare you to break my arm. <laughs> Have a Mac. No, I don't eat junk food. Let's go to Lutess. Oh, what, you fan? You coming? <laughs> no. I'm going to keep the scarf anyway. No, you're not. Fine. What's your name? I tell you. Too fast. No name. No. How about if I call you... Big Pink. <laughs> Come on. Hurry up. Hey, Big Pink. What are you doing? Oh, you're so loaded. What, did you rob a bank? Uh -huh. Where are you taking me? I'm going, uh, like I said. Yeah, right. Is that real money?
Honk the horn again, please. Sick people living in this building. What time is it, Benny, man? Uh, uh, Thompson and Spring, please. What time is it, man? What, what time? It's just fucking late. That's what time it is. What's the rush, John Henry? It's Show Me Show. What the fuck's your problem, man? I don't have any fucking problems. And what do you have? Give me my joint, man. Check you out. You get a little attention, then you start acting all uppity and shit with me. What's that about? About what? What's th what's that about? What? What? What just? You mean like uppity nigga? What gives you the audacity to even think that, man? Hey. For all you know, you might just be a flash in the pan, man. And let me tell you, you can never tell. You're just jealous because it ain't happening to you. <laughs> Think what you want. Fuck you. Making me feel bad, man. Yo. Yo, pull over. Pull over. Kids can do anything. Oh, Mary, this is Sean. Sean, this is Mary Boone. She, she's showing all the great new painters. Yeah, I met her already. Yeah, you should be very pleased. It's a very handsome show. Yeah. It's just in the wrong gallery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll see you later at dinner, though. Yeah, you coming? Yeah. Huh? Jean, your parents are here. Oh, those are my parents. Those are not his parents. Which one? Hey, Dad. You must be very proud. Very proud. Quite a production. So, tell me, how does it feel to have a genius in the family? Good. Lucky for you, I get convicts in my family. And when I was 12 years old, my daddy took me to the circus. Hey. Can't John, great show, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, step in the office. That's my lady in pink tights, blue high. Hey, this is a gift, man. It's a gift. As I sat there watching, John, come on, let's come on, take a picture. Listen, I don't know what, but it was all over. Come on, you want to buy it? Wow, twisted his arm, but here he is. Gentlemen, a little tighter. Oh. Hey, Albert. Hey, get in the picture, man. Come on, beautiful. Yeah. Still a very soon. Of the painters, please. Mm -hmm. Of the painters. The painters. The painters. Yeah, no, that's better. Come on. Mr. Bischoberger, please. Thank you. Hey, Mom. Dad. Jackie. Andy, you know Andy. Oh, my Andy. mom's father. Oh, hey, yeah. This is Jean Michel. This is my wife, Jack. This is Jack that says them. My mom and dad. Are you folks here? Um, my, my dad's here with his wife, but my mom couldn't make it. On such a special occasion? Why? She's sick. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't indulge. Thank you. That's cool. John Michelle. Cool. Yeah. Talk to you, please. Andy, want to take my picture? Uh, yeah. I hear you're leaving Anina. 
Huh? Now, you know, I love you, Pete. I would like to represent you for a life. We start with the show in Zurich. And later, I get us a partner in New York. Maybe Mary Boone, huh? Yeah. Now, I especially like this paint. I would like to have that for my own private collection. I wasn't going to sell that one. No. Oh, you shouldn't have shown it. I mean, this is the one. I absolutely have to have this one. I mean, this is super fantastic. Well, Jean Michel, I must have it. I, I absolutely must have this painting. You can sure. <laughs> oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. Can I, can I borrow your limousine? I'll bring it back to you in an hour. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I'll just have them drop you at Mr. Charles. We'll all be there. Cool, cool. It's a great show. Let's break out the boom. You sold my painting. Uh, I can make you. You sold my fucking painting, brother. Let me tell you something. When you are climbing up that fucking ladder of success, you do not kick out the fucking rungs, and you believe that shit. Renee. Barbara. What is it about art, anyway, that we give it so much importance? Artists are respected by the poor because what they do is an honest way to get out of the slum, using one's sheer self as the medium. The money earned proof, pure and simple, of the value of that individual, the artist. The picture a mother's son does in jail hangs on her wall as proof that beauty is possible, even in the most wretched. And this is a much different idea than the fancier notion that art is a scam and a ripoff. But you could never explain to someone who uses God's gift to enslave that you have used God's gift to be free. Hey, hey, man, turn that up. No, I really, really, really admire you, man. I mean, what? I mean, you did it. I mean, you made it. You know, I, I'm a painter, too. Oh, yeah. Come check out my studio sometime. Uh, sure. I love it. <laughs> Plush, safe, heating. What's your name, man? Uh, they, they, they call me Steve, man, but I prefer Shanghai. Shanghai. No job. Good evening. Anina's waiting for you. John. John. Mr. Chow, the chair, please. To a great show, Jean. Cheers. Cheers here to you. You finish it. He used to. Nixon used to have a place at the Waldorf Astoria, but then he moved to Saddle River, New Jersey. Saddle River, New York. Saddle River's in New Jersey. Saddle River's in New York. It's in New Jersey. It's in New York. Saddle River's in New Jersey. It's in New York. I hear your show already sold out. I think it's in New Jersey. It's in New York. It was a very important collector who was interested in buying some of your work. It's in New Jersey. New York. Bring him by the studio sometime. I have some other stuff to show him. Saddle Rivers in New York. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you, Henry? Well, your best champagne, darling. Hi, Michael. Hi. Oh, darling. Well, you cannot buy advertising like this. This will be the most glamorous party you'll have here all fall, guaranteed. Oh, my. Can I get some of that imitation crab? I'm just famished. And a chair, please. Dominic, chair. Well, that was a lovely show. Absolutely lovely, but I 
Well, we're no longer collecting art. We're buying people, aren't we? Shut up, Renee. Oh, Andy, please. Everything's over your head. We all know that. Even Mr. Chow's menu's over your head. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. Is he not great? That is absolutely stupendous. He's work. Thank you. He owes me one. Doesn't he, Bruno? You're too much for him. Get this right. guy out of here. Oh, come on. Please relax. Can I have my chair, please? Oh, oh come on. I haven't even eaten a thing. I am starved to death, darling. Please, get your hands off me. It's okay. We're friends. We're friends. Please, get fuck off. Get your fucking hands off me, you faggots. I want a chair. I want a chair. Oh, my God. Get your fucking hands off of me. Get your fucking hands off of me. We're friends. Join me, fucker. Fuck off. Get your fucking hands off you faggot. Okay, what are you doing? You're such a good drawer, Jean-Michel. You should do another one for Michael. Perhaps some other time, Andy. It's great that people are interested, but if anyone's going to buy anything, I'll handle it for you. Everything goes through the gallery, even if they come to your studio. You've had 23 one-man shows. You've been in 43 group shows from Zurich to Tokyo. You've had over 50 articles written about you. You've uh, switched galleries how many times? You've DJed in the hottest clubs. <clears throat> One of the youngest artists ever to be included in the Whitney Biennial, produced the rap record, said you're quite the ladies' man. You dated Madonna a couple of months, man. All this at the ripe old age of 24. One might ask, is there anything left for Jean-Michel Basquiat to do? Okay, bottom line, what is it gets you out of bed in the morning? I, I hate this man. Turn that off. What? Oh, come on. That's all right. Look, come back. You can do better. Please, please. Oh. Thank you. OK? Ready? Ready? Can you decipher this for us? Decipher? Just words. Yeah, I understand. But whose words are these? I mean, where do you take them from? I don't know, would you, would you ask like a musician? Like, would you ask, ask Miles? Like, where'd you, where'd you get that note from? Hmm. I mean, um, where, where do you take your words from, you know? Right. Everywhere. What's that? The three in a circle. Here? Yeah. It's a flea. Looks like a chicken. And trust me, it's a flea. And that, in the black box? Those, those are parasites. Flea, parasite, and 46 and 47? Yes, yeah, it says leeches. It's number 46 and 47 in a, in a, in a list of, of thousands of leeches on, on this planet. What's the difference? One, two, three. Between a flea, parasite, and a leech? Hardly any. Why are people so crudely drawn? Well, most people tend to be pretty, <clears throat> generally pretty crude. I really don't know that many refined people. Yeah, yeah, that, that, look, that looks good like that, man. Okay. And what's that? Oh, it's some uh, pile of tires I painted. I knew that. Do you consider yourself some kind of primal expressionist? You mean a primate? An, you... an ape? Do you consider yourself a painter or a black painter? Oh, he has a lot of colors, not just black. And, uh... Well, I'm... It's more a 
a Creole, you know? I mean, what I mean by Creole is that it's a mix of Africa and Europe, you know, much in the same way that an African in, in Haiti speaks French. Your father's from Haiti. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to being called the pickaninny of the art world? Who said, who said that? That's from Time magazine. No, 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 no. He said, he said it was the Eddie Murphy of the art world. Oh. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> Let me just open something up here. You, you come from a, a middle-class home. Your father's an accountant. Why did you live in a cardboard box in Tompkins Square? Do you feel that you're being exploited? Or um, are you yourself exploiting the uh, white uh, image of the black uh, artist from the ghetto, you know? Ghetto? I don't exploit it, no. Other people? It's gonna make me put my foot in my mouth. Other people, it's possible. Other people might exploit it. It's possible. Is it true? Um, your mother resides in a mental institution, is that right? Andrew? Now, right now? No. As an artist. In general. Okay. Good. That's good. Thank you. Great, Frank. Can you, I don't know, whiz over here? I'm more that way. W what's with the wigs? Oh, I'm gonna give them to people for Christmas. You, you think that's a good present? Who, who wants an old wig? Yeah, sure. Oh, piss paint. No piss painting, Jean. Oxidation art. Yeah, he cleaning brushes too. I'm gonna do some more of these. Frank's been drinking this great Mexican beer and. Makes it go this great green. Why don't you paint on him yourself? I don't like beer. Um, hey, can I get some caviar, please? Okay, uh, can I taste it first?
Is that the best you have? Yes, it's the best. I'll take the whole 10. It's $3,000. Hey, Andy, can I get $3,000 for, for this cabin? Sure. You've got a rush for that. You, you just put the caviar on the card and I'll get the rest. You check everybody's bills or just mine? Just yours. Just give me my shit, man. Yeah, but what he said was locked in the basement, you know? I mean, it has such a nasty ring to it. Mm. If, if I was white, they would have just said, artist in residence. Mm. But I just wish they quit writing this shit about me. Well, no, Jean, that's good. At least they're interested. And, and then everyone's paying, like, top dollar for, for uh, anything with, with same on it. Mm. Scraps of paper, uh, refrigerator doors. Sure, yeah. The other day, I, 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 I wanted to buy a pack of cigarettes, so I did this drawing for $2. Mm -hmm. And um, this gallery called me a week later said, somebody's offering us $5,000 for the same drawing. Like, should I buy it? Wow. I said, yeah, I said, yeah, I said, yeah, sure. Buy it. Sounds like a good deal to me. Sure, buy it. That's a good deal, yeah. But you've got to stop giving them away, you know? Well, come to Garcon want me to, like, model from them. Maybe you could do that with me. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. You could teach me. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't teach you anything. You're a natural. Kidding me? Maybe you could join my modeling agency. They asked me to do a Mike Todd room at the Palladium. Should I do that? Is my uncle at Milo doing that? They asked him before they asked me? Oh, gee, I don't know. Shit, I'm not doing that. I can't get out of New York. Hey, we could go to Pittsburgh. I kind of grew up there. They have this room there with all the world's famous statues in. So you don't even have to go to Europe anymore. Just go to Pittsburgh. Boom, Duckman! Oh, yeah. When I was little, my brother and I had two pet ducks. We called them the Garcia brothers. <laughs> Jean, did you see my dermatologist yet? Hey, Gina. Gina. I'm um, sorry. I thought you were a friend. Welcome back to Barbetta, Maestro. Sure. Haven't seen you in a long time. How was your show in Europe? It's good. Okay. We have an excellent Brunero di Montalcino. What year? 73. So how are you doing? I was going to get you some flowers, I forgot. Mm -hmm. So I hear you've been hanging out with Andy. He seems like he's pretty weird. He's not, you know? I mean, he calls me every day when he's, when he's out of town. What's weird about him? Ah, oh, well, you know, a lot of people think that he's using you. Why does everyone say that? I mean, he's the only person who doesn't need... Uh, who's her? <laughs> so what have you been, been up to? Well, I'm starting med school at Columbia in the fall. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty excited about it, actually. And Renee hired me as his secretary. He's getting his poems published. I hate that asshole. How is he? He's the same. Yes, Mr. Basquiat. You, you see this table behind me? Yes. Put their bill on my tab. All right. Georgia, 
Yes, Mr. Basquiat? Don't tell them anything, just do it, please. Of course not, Mr. Basquiat. Why? I mean, what year is this? I think about you a lot, you know. And, and me, and, and, the, and the future, and... Because... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... In my head, I had all these things I was gonna say, but... They, they don't work. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't you don't need to be sorry. Well, you know, one good thing came out of it. I realized I'm a really bad painter. <laughs> it was it was a relief. friends anymore aside from you <laughs> and then everyone says war all that death warmed over person on drugs he's just using you shouldn't take things so seriously. Bruno called. He said that people in Europe are saying you're burning a candle at both ends. Well, I think it's awful that people are talking like that. I think you should, like, I don't know, stick around, prove them wrong. No one thought I could make it in the first place, you know? And then when it happened, you said, yeah, but he'll never keep it up. Now they say I'm killing myself, stuff like this. But they, they, they don't, don't want to clean up. Then they say, well, you, look, his art's dead. I don't care anyway, because, you know, I'm clean now. I'm healthy. That's just not true, Jean. I mean, you phoned me at four in the... What are you doing? You're painting out everything I do. Wow. Oh, that's great. System with just the M. Yeah, that's better. You really think so? God. I can't even see what's good anymore. Okay, I see what you mean about that white. After the show, let's, let's take a nice long vacation. 
Go to Hawaii. You want to go to Hawaii? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Maui, open a tequila factory, write poetry, play music again. Give up this painting shit. I want to sing. Boy, that would be a pity. You're a real painter. The poster came out great. Jean-Michel sent this. Great. your own fucking business. Yeah, my man Samo won't make us rich. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck is your problem? And how's with more? Jean-Michel, crawling from the wreckage. Hey, dealer. You have a bunch of them already, don't you? Hey, Mayor Boone, did I ever tell you my grandfather was an oyster man? You know, Mary, you know what that means? Mary, can, can, we, uh, can we switch these? This, this, sh th this should be here. You know, you should see it when you walk in. That, that should be there. Hi, Jean. You know? I like it there. Can we switch them? Yeah? Well, yes, we can switch them. We'll rehang them. That's good. That's good there. So, so what do you think? I said I need a dealer. We could talk about it. Here I am. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll just, I'll come by your studio Thursday at 3.30. What are you doing? Nothing. You want to come over? What for? I'm your friend. I'll see you now. Good. Right. So, so, so what's wrong tomorrow? I'm busy. I'm busy. Okay? I'll, I'll come by your studio Thursday at 3.30. 3.30. Yeah, yeah, I'll fit you in. Yeah, I'm, I might even make you some gumbo. Excuse me. Is this gallery open? Oh, yeah. No, no, please come back later. You like that painting? I painted that for a friend of mine who died. Okay, it's good, it's good. Hey, John, hang, hang on. John, this is uh, a backdrop for the uh, Kabuki Theater in Japan. Sort of a rebirth painting. I painted it for, for Joseph Boyce. 
felt like maybe he could have painted it if someone else was painting it instead of me. I like it. It's good. Thanks. Okay. I'll be up in about 10 minutes. Cortez. I know it. You know? You know Cortez? Of course. Hey. You know the Chinese calligraphers? They used to change their name mid-career so they could start over as someone else. few things that makes me happy. Scary? No, painting. I used to I used to cook for a living. Now that I got sick of. You know, I still have a rash from those white ducks. Hey, Eddie, are we still on the uh, the lap dog remark? Yeah, that, that's completely different though. I mean I think Eddie Murphy's cool, you know? Yeah, but he can't paint. Not that I know. Yeah, what about the shit they write? Let me tell you something. There's about 10 people on the planet who know anything about painting, and Andy is one of them. You know, your, your, your audience hasn't even been born yet. Personally, I'm surprised when anybody comes to my openings. I haven't felt like talking to him since that thing came out. I mean, I'm nobody's mascot, you know? Did he say that? Did he? As long as I've known Andy, he never asked me for a thing except to speak to you about getting off drugs. And, and he's painted my picture. I painted his picture. You know, we've, we've eaten dinner together. He doesn't care about me. He cares about you. You're the one he cares about. You're his friend. Did he say that? Listen, fuck that article. It doesn't matter. Forget about it. Come on, eat. Good conversation is hard to find in this town. Papa, the TV's broken. Can you fix it? Sure, honey. I'll be there in a minute. She knows more about painting than Eddie Murphy. different the last time I saw you. It's nice. Hey, you like your dad's paintings? Some of them. Hmm. Is Dad still still man? You can keep it. Can I get two ducks, man?
no, please, please go. Maybe it's me. It's me. Oh, it's you. What a day. Huh? Oh, it's me. Do I look that bad? What's the matter? You have been hurt. Andy is dead. Wait for me. Come here, please. C come here. C come here, just, just, just for, just for a second. Just come here. Please. My, my, my mom's, my mom's in here. Matilda Bosky, and I want to take her home. Visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm not here to visit. I want to take her home. Look, don't cause me any trouble. Do me the favor. I, I don't want to. Just want to take her home. O open up, please. Open up. Please, just open I up. I said, don't cause me any trouble. I asked you nicely. And and, and I asked you nicely. Open up. I, I said, open up. Open up.
Mom told me this story. What was it a dream? There was this little prince with a magic crown, and this evil warlock kidnapped him, locked him in this cell in this huge tower, took away his voice. There was a window with bars, and the prince kept smashing his head against the bars, hoping that someone would, would hear the sound and find him. The crown made the most beautiful sound that anyone had ever heard. You could hear it ringing for miles. It was so beautiful that people wanted to grab the air. You never found the prince. He never got out of the room. But that sound he made filled everything up with beauty. Definitely time to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Benny, fuck Hawaii. Let's go to Ireland. We'll stop in every bar and have a drink.